All right, let's go over this case study. What we have is um, a patient that's 60 years old, uh, seems to be responsive and awake, able to speak. Uh, is complaining of chest pain, uh, having some throbbing in the chest, uh, palpitations, could feel the heart racing, and is short of breath. Uh, while this person is in the care of the EMS or hospital staff, uh, we notice that the patient has this wide complex rhythm, uh, vital signs and uh, things are being done and we can take some uh, numbers off of the screen here <clears throat> as we continue to look at this and basically this cardiac rhythm is a ventricular rhythm in sorts and if you can tell it does seem to be flipping. We consider this a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia or torsades de points. <clears throat> So hopefully at this time we have a patient on high flow oxygen by a non their mass because this is a lethal cardiac arrhythmia and should be treated. We're going to probably find out that the blood pressure is, is pretty low. <clears throat> and although they have a respiratory rate, the person can then deteriorate. And what our signs are showing right now is that the uh, respiratory rate is diving down and uh, Entitled CO2 is diving down as well, and we see the square waveform disappearing. And we can now assume that our pulse has now disappeared as this chaotic rhythm deteriorated into cardiac arrest. Now, <clears throat> the reason why the person is in torsades is because uh, there's an abnormality between an electrolyte in the body, and this electrolyte is potassium and sodium and potassium is usually inside the cell and sodium is usually outside of the cell in the blood and if you think about it so they're about equal in equal parts <clears throat> so let's give you a range let's just say um, 100 is the total for uh, sodium the 100 is also a total for potassium we would have something like a 99 of uh, potassium 99 um, molecules of potassium really in the cell and one potassium outside the cell in the bloodstream. And likewise, uh, the sodium, because it's another type of cation and they try to be in equilibrium, we'd have 99 of these molecules on the outside in the bloodstream and one within the cell. Now these are not the exact numbers, I'm just showing you how we keep this equilibrium. <clears throat> and in order for the cell then, uh, the cardiac cells to depolarize and cause the QRS complex, is a shifting of this uh, positive uh, cations, this potassium and sodium. The potassium sodium pump um, allows the heart to <clears throat> uh, function and then cause that curious complex. So what happens is that this gets um, offline and no longer can the potassium sodium levels uh, maintain the equilibrium and they sort of start sharing spaces. <clears throat> In order to stabilize this, magnesium uh, is given. As well as trying to correct uh, the imbalance really here uh, in this uh, wide complex, we're thinking that uh, in the case study, the patient has a dialysis history, this hyperkalemic event, <clears throat> we can stabilize this by pushing calcium as well, another electrolyte. So we're going to push calcium so that it pushes the potassium back into the cell. And because the dialysis patient has a problem with not only getting rid of toxins, um, <clears throat> they're also having trouble to correct the potassium level. And so we would give bicarbonate to get rid of some of the, the toxins and change that pH level. So let's just review. The person looked like he had a wide complex tachycardia a polymorphic VTAC torsades deteriorated and we noticed that the respiratory rate dropped as well as our square waveform. The box in the end title CO2 era deep, you know, just dropped. Uh, we started CPR and then did the basic um, type of treatments <clears throat> and BLS very well in high performance. The signal then continued to change and the QRS complex deteriorate even more and it looks like at this current time we're in a ventricular fibrillation and uh, we haven't been able to convert them. Uh, we would try to give defibrillations in between each each uh, two minute cycle and then we were thinking about some of the ALS interventions. Again then to recap for treatment wise the patient can be given 
calcium and bicarbonate to sort of stimulate that shifting of potassium in there. 